Hello everybody, welcome to another plugin tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be interacting with Votify, so I'm just going to start off by adding my Votify jar. And this is something that you'll need to hook into the event of Votify because they use custom events. Now um, you just need to add your plugin, depend Votify, just like that. And basically we're just going to add an event handler and we're going to call it public void on vote because this is going to be called um, when someone votes now the votify event is a custom event or votifier so you'll need to import it from their package um, so vote v equals e dot get vote simple as and you'll need to import the vote as well now what we need to do is uh, we need to go string username equals v dot get username because basically when you vote you have a username and basically what we'll do here is we'll go bucket um, actually not, not that yet we'll go if username doesn't equal null and and uh, username uh, dot length if it's bigger than zero well actually it should technically be three but we're just going to leave it like that else here this means they didn't put a username sad face but if they're here, we need to check if they're online. So we'll just do if bucket dot get player exact because you have to type your exact name in, and then we'll put username. Doesn't equal null. This means they're online because if they're not online, it will return null. Uh, now what you could do is if they're offline, you could um, add them to a list. Then when they join, go. Hey, they're now online, they voted, add the votes, which most Verify plugins do do, and I would recommend doing that, or people, people sometimes are like, oh my internet's too slow, I'll vote, then I'll come on the server, um, but anyway, so now what we can do here is we can go, uh, copy this, and go player p equals that, p dot, uh, give exp, levels and we'll give them five levels uh, p send message and we'll just send them a message in blue or aqua because it's a nice color thanks for voting mate and then we'll just import this now basically i can't show off this code as it requires me signing up to a verify website but I will tell you that it works as I've previously experienced setting up custom Botify plugins. But that's basically how you hook into it. If you've got any suggestions for the next video, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you want more of this kind of content. Unusual bucket tutorials, you know, just some fun stuff. Thank you for watching.